Hello, family. Good morning. Uh, this is the Queen Who Care Cares for You. I hope everybody had a wonderful, beautiful, good night. Rest, slept well, sweet dreams, and just um, really had a peaceful, phenomenal night. And I hope this video uh, caught you guys in a, a great move, a great mindset, and you're relaxed and you're getting your mind ready for the day. Maybe you're having some tea, coffee, orange juice, whatever you're drinking. Hopefully it's healthy, smoothies. You're just getting ready to start your day and just know that uh, no matter what what you're going through, what situations maybe you're dealing with, just know that it's going to be a good day. Speak it into the atmosphere and just know that. I just say I'm happy and grateful for a phenomenal, phenomenal beautiful, wonderful day. I'm blessed. Everything is working out for my best. Uh, the universe, I am favored by the universe, and the universe is sending me people in my life to help me get to the level that I need to be to, and I am becoming the best version of myself each and every day. So just every day, we need to speak positive into the universe because as long as and make sure not only just speaking positive things, but also feeling it. You know, let the universe feel the emotions of what you are saying. And let the universe know that you be, are actually believing what you're saying. And the universe is going to bring that to you, which is all law of attraction. If you don't know anything about law of attraction, please read up on it. I, I can't get into details, but right now, I just wanted to uh, come on and give a word of encouragement for today and um i will be talking more about that uh later on probably in the week but um i just want to let everybody know that no matter what you're going through in life you just keep a positive mind keep yourself around positive people doing positive things staying to keep yourself in a great environment and just meditate pray chant whoever you believe in always believe in something higher than yourself uh, I say universe because I believe in, I worship everything in the universe. I give my energy to the trees and the moons and the stars and the galaxy. And I mean, I am of Mother Earth. And you know, it's a song I listen to and it's called, We, we All Come From the Garden and To Her We Shall Return. Because, you know, when a person uh, passes, they go, you know, they say dust to dust and all that. So they go back. They came from the came from the earth. They go back to the earth. We, I think it's we all come from the garden. And to her we shall return like a drop of rain. Well, <laughs> it's a song that I listen to and it's true. But um, Mother Earth is beautiful. I mean, it's full of energy, it's full of life, and I and I just, I would advise everybody just to get out to Mother Earth, walk barefooted, just uh, just like one of my YouTubes I listen to, uh, Ralph Smart, and he when he comes on, he says, sucking up that good prana, so y'all go out there and suck up some good prana, and just, you know, have an open mind to learning and new things, and just be, you know, just open, have an open mind to learn new things and be adventurous and just let your brain be like a a, 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 a sponge, just soaking up all type of different information and learning new things. Because I always say when a person, when a person think they know it all, you it's no hope for that person because they think they know it all. This is the way it is. And that's it. You have to be constantly Things are, this earth is, is continuously revolving, 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 and we have to learn. We have to be open to learning new things and stuff. You know, we can lot, We can learn a lot from the youth. Now, you you know, we got we got youth, you, um, YouTubers on here and um, smart. We have YouTubers on here, and they are very knowledgeable about life. You know, my one of my friend guys, he sent me a video of these two little boys. They probably look like they were about seven or eight. And the little boy was saying how you need to be grateful. I got to learn how to share videos because when I, I would love to share that vi that video. But the little boy was telling his little brother, the, the, like the one was talking was probably about eight or nine, and the other one was he probably was six. 
<laughs> and boy, I, I give hats off to parents because they did a good job. And he was saying, hey, you have to be grateful. You got people probably eating out the trash can, just for example. But you got people, you got some people, you probably, you think you're doing bad because you're eating out trash can. But you got some people not eating much, having a trash can to eat out of. Just, that's just like, you might be, your legs or feet might be cut off. You, I mean, you might be complaining about your legs or your feet. But what about people who ain't got no legs and all this and feet and all this kind of stuff? So you just have to be grateful for where you're at in life. Don't be saying, oh, I wish I had this. I, I needed this. I need that and all this kind of stuff. Just be thankful for what you got. Right, right now, where you're at, just be thankful that you are, like I say, if you wake up in the morning and you breathe and you can get up, you that's a bless, That's a big blessing in itself. That is everything. So don't be right here, you know, complaining about well, I need a bigger house, I need more cars, or I need this, I need that and that. Just be thankful for what you got. Now, if you're a person and you can afford to get whatever you want, that's good. You want to live your life like that. That's you know, that that you you know, a lot of people work hard and they want to have all these toys and all this kind of stuff, but long as you don't let it have you, it's fine. You can have anything. You can have the big house on the hill, five or six cars, whatever. But long as you act like a regular person and you're willing to help people and you got a good heart, it's nothing wrong with that. But when you get all this stuff and then you act like you're more than other people and all this stuff, that's when the problem set in because those things have you. And nothing, it's not wrong with having nice cars and a big house on the hill and all this kind of stuff, whatever you might, whatever your money can afford. But like I say, don't let that stuff have you. But um, for people who just thinking that they have to have so much to be successful, you really don't. You really don't. You know what? The most important thing in life is uh, each one teach one. It's just helping people in life to to be be, um, be better versions of themselves and just to. Uh, you know, just to input in people, you know, lifting people up, encouraging them, motivating them, and lend a helping hand if you can, and, you know, helping, you know, helping in communities with the homeless situation, and, you know, I know everybody out here homeless is not, it's it's not, um, some of them want to be homeless, you know, it, they can do better in life, some of them just don't want to work or whatever, but a lot of people, I mean, they got mental illness, they it's just so much going on, but, you know, we can, you know, we as people and we, we doing better than they are or whatever, you know, we need to help the less unfortunate. We need to go and speak words in people's life. We need to go, you know, visit shelters and, you know, close, close, um, close the negative, do some stuff. You know, it's a lot of stuff we need to do out here besides just getting our little comfort zone and just, you know, say, hey, I got my house over here. Um, you know, I'm good. I ain't got to do nothing. No, we need to be helping the less fortunate with our money as well. We need to get it, dive in the community and help out and reach out. And right now, um, at, I did it. Before, I have did it. It's been a while since I did it. Um, uh, Worked in one of those because uh, I'm a. I say about five years ago or something like that, I worked in a women's shelter for women and children, but I'm getting ready to get back into the community. Uh, as we speak, I'm, I'm going to be researching some stuff and reaching out to different organizations and see where my help is needed. And, you know, at least once or twice a week, I can, you know, get in that community and give out. And then, you you know what? Get your children involved. Let them know that, you know, it's people out there way unfortunate. Than, than they are, and they will appreciate what they got. So we, we as people, and us older women, we it's so much out there we can do for these. We need, we need to um, instill in our younger women because they. When I look at this generation, I tell you, it's just the dressing, the way they dressing and carrying this stuff, and the way they talking and cussing and just doing all kind of stuff. We need to be role models for our young women. We really do. We really do. We need to go into some of these you know, communities, and we just need to start speaking and encouraging and lending a helping hand, showing them how they need to carry themselves so they can be um, good role models for their children, for their staff, and be up right in the community and do things that they need to do, you know, become high versions of themselves. But I'm not going to try to keep this video that long because I know I got to go to work and, and well, I don't work that far for my job, but, um, I, I'm not going to be rambling, rambling, but you know, I just want to say, you know, don't, you know, we, 
you know, it, try to live as comfortable as possible. We don't have to live the rat race, the hustles and bustles of life. Just get the necessary things. Because sometimes we are impression like we have to keep up with the Joneses. Okay, the Joneses got a BMW. We trying to get something better than them and all that. Them days is gone. <laughs> you know, don't you get what you need and what you don't need. Leave where that. I used to be a person that go in the store and shop, shop and get all this stuff and then put it in my closet and don't even much and I don't even much wear it. I'm, when I'm looking looking at new tags, you know, when you do stuff like that, on, that's just money on the shelf. You just money just sitting there on the shelf. If you're not, if you go in the store and if you're not going to wear it immediately or use it immediately, whatever the case might be, if, it, if it's clothes or if it's something that you want for your house, if it's not going, uh, if you're not, if, if it's a picture, you're not going to put up immediately the time you get home or the next day or in the same week or whatever, leave it where it's at. Don't buy nothing unless you're going to use it immediately. That's what stopped me from shopping a lot. You know, if you're getting it for your business or whatever, that's the investment you need it, whatever. Something for your business or something that's going to help you make more money or whatever. But, you know, all these clothes, right now I'm at the point, I don't, I got more than enough clothes. I mean, if I just see something, like I say, if I buy something, I'm going to have to wear it the next day or the same week. Yeah, for some occasion, I'm not just shopping like that no more. I got enough stuff in that closet. Right now, I got to organize my closet. It's in a mess. I'm going to have to let you. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all see my closet before before and after because right now I'm in the process of trying to get that closet organized and get it you know I'm a very organized person I like my stuff organized I don't like stuff all um in a mess and stuff all unorganized and I can't function like that I have to have my stuff organized to function right even if I walk in my apartment and things is out of place before I take off my work clothes I have to white uh get everything organized before i can eat much uh begin to relax in my apartment but most of all i'm pretty much organized but i just you know was cleaning up had some t-shirts and you know working and stuff and um pulling down stuff you know you be looking for this looking for that you have stuff all tossed up so that's how my clothes is but i'm in the process i'm going to like i said i'm gonna let y'all see i'm gonna do a, a little video let y'all see before and after well, wow. and I'm in the process of getting that scrape. But family, I just want to encourage y'all to have a wonderful, beautiful, phenomenal day. Peace, love, and happiness for in your lives. Blessings and just being continued no matter. Like I say, don't uh, spend your time looking at the news because, you know, the, the news is, uh, it can get you down and out and depressed because, like I say, if you look at the news every day, you ain't going to want to leave your house. So do not get... Uh, Take it by all this bad news, the virus, and you know people, you know the the the, the, uh, the virus is taking people out, and people, everybody's dying, and all that. No, everybody dying, and y'all tell you what? Like I say, people say life is short, but it's it's truly I believe it's the people making it short because you know yesterday when I was on my way home, um, I was on the motor and I was on my way home from the airport, and. The man came on the intercom and said, make sure you wear your masks, you know, keep your six feet distance and all this kind of stuff. You know, I had on my mask and everything. Nephew had on his mask and everything. But guess what? It was people coming on there. They had a sign of a mask. They heard the man talking over the intercom. They just wasn't paying no attention. See, it's people like that. They're the ones making their own life short. They're the ones. Because you right here. You know, you ain't got your man. People just, I don't understand. Like I say, I, and you know what I tell y'all in all my videos, wear your mask, keep your six feet distance, stay safe, you know, go where you need to go and and and, and stay on home. I was in Florida. I didn't go all them places and stuff. I went, I went when I went to um, review my grandchildren's uh, father body and stuff. I was, I peeped and I was out of there. Now, it was, was a good bit of people there, but I didn't stay in the crowd. I did a peep. <laughs> I, I was at quick, fast, and a hurry. And the whole time, mostly, I stayed, I sat on, y'all know, y'all seen my videos where I was um, sitting on my daughter's porch. I was out there most of the whole time, you know, sitting on the porch and all that. I was not in no crowds or nothing, you know. I went, you know, my I went to, um, somebody's house but you know they was good and everything you know so you know we went out to eat with my sister and her husband and i mean we kept our this we wore we wore our gloves you know when we fixed our food so you just have to follow the protocols you have to follow the protocols like i say wear your mask keep your six feet distance 
and you will be fine. Just follow direction. Do it. And a lot of people think because they get this vaccin vaccination that they, you know, can't ca catch COVID and stuff. But that's not true because they can catch it too. Because if they ain't following protocols, like they don't think because you've been vaccinated that you can't catch it. Yes, you can catch it. And you need to continue to wear your mask and keep your six feet distant and continue being safe. Oh, y'all have to excuse me because my silence is be acting up in the morning. Mm. But um, I tell you, you just got to do what's right. Do what's right. Like I said in another previous video, you got one life and you got to guard it with your life. Trust me and believe that you have to do that. Uh, so um, I'm back home. I'm getting ready to go to work and family. Getting ready to go. Get. Uh, I'll be leaving on September 3rd to go to Vegas. Getting ready for that. I'm excited with all this going on. <laughs> What I had to deal with in Florida and all this, this is a a little relief I'll be getting. So I'm happy about that. I'll be, I you know, I'll be, I'm, I think I'm going to come live. I'm going to come live from Vegas. You know, I'm going to, hey, I'm going to continue. Keep wearing my mask. Keep me six feet distance. I'll be having three masks on. <laughs> Today I'm wearing two. <laughs> I'm wearing two of them. <laughs> one, one I'm wearing for Corona and the other one for the <laughs> Delta. Boy, I take you know, I watched the video, a lady was, oh, that was funny. Now, I would love to share that video. That lady was spraying. She had some lights on. She, oh, I don't know where Corona. I don't know. She came in the store spraying. But, dog, how you going to come in the store spraying and everything, spraying the donut, but you ain't got a sign of a mask on. You ain't got no mask on or nothing. I don't understand that. You was just half car, not all the way car, just half car. But anyway, family, I'm getting ready to end this video. Y'all have a wonderful, beautiful day. Be blessed. Stay encouraged. And know that a queen who care cares for you. And I will see you guys. Oh, got play. You know I got to say. Please share. Please like. Thumbs up. Please comment. Please hit the notification bell. So when I upload uh, new videos, you will be notified. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love you all, and I really do care, and I just, I just uh, can't encourage you enough to just say, please be safe out there, and don't let nobody tell you what you can do, and you just stay motivated, encouraged, and positive all the time, and when you feel the mighty low, like, who that one, one that, Oh, Miss Celia, or who? Somebody said, I was feeling mighty low, but when I seen your face, so well, well guess what? If you feeling mighty low, y'all click on a Queen Who Cares video. And I tell you another thing. Uh, you, you know what? I, get, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but anything, if you feeling low, you click on a, a Queen Who Cares video. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and like, share, and do all the good things. Y'all know what y'all got to do. Really, I ain't got to say all that because y'all know how it go. <laughs> and it's free. It's free to subscribe. Don't think you got to pay or anything, but it's free to subscribe. But I love you, and y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and happiness.